you don't even hear like a click or anything. You kind of, you know, put the key in, you turn the ignition, and it's like. Now it's on. It was, it was very peaceful. Like stoplights, being able to hear yourself, and just, you could get deep in the thought. <laughs> the horn is just the same as only when you regular A3. Did that scare anybody out there? <laughs> <laughs> Tron pilot project we're starting now is probably not typical of what you would find at any car company. We're actually putting our own internal team members behind the wheels. They become e-pilots. The whole experience really was just being able to drive in real-world situations where I'm changing lanes and I'm you know, going loops in parking lots and... Go to the grocery store, going to the football game. Yeah, I'll take my, my eight-month-old daughter, uh, Charlotte. She can hop in the car and... Well, not hot, but I'll put her in her seat and then put her in the car. I want to simply park my normal car and not use it for three months. Uh, my name is Wayne Killen, and I'm an Audi pilot. There is no moving parts at all. I have two cats. Um, I do need to take them to the vet pretty soon, so we'll see if maybe the quietness of the car calms them down a little bit. My name is T. Chan, and I'm an Audi pilot. We talk about living carbon free, but I think it's a great opportunity to practice seeing what that means in my everyday life. My name is Mark Ramsey and I'm an Audi e-pilot. This technology exists today. It's not something that we're drawing on a board somewhere. The ability to drive electrically is something that I think for all of us as humankind is a very, very important uh, move into the future. My youngest is in high school now, so I want the kids of her age to see what this car is all about. and. Hope I get a lot of questions because the answer is pretty exciting. Mm -hmm.